Rangers. Bad man. How do we get there? How is this today? 97 years old. We, we've got to see it, oh, right? Shit. But yeah, let's get back to this. We're gonna go through this and hopefully we make it into the mansion this time. Finally, we've reached. Okay, we've made it. But do you think it's a good idea to enter this room? Just, just look at this. That's not all. There are precisely two things which are genuinely freaking me out a little bit. I know it's just an abandoned house, but firstly, We're in the middle of nowhere. Do you hear this? That is the sound of dead silence. And secondly, what in the world is this? This is the mansion. What is this? Is this some sort of extension to his house or because from the outside as well as from the glimpse we get from here I can guarantee you this is going to be 10 times more creepier. There's just something about this weird rectangular building that just seems really vile. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just just a little skeptical about that one but first let's enter the abandoned mansion Imagine, these are probably the cabinets from 97 years ago, right in front of our eyes. Literally shattered. What I really find interesting in this mansion is the blend of Western and Chinese architecture. I mean, with the European big windows complemented with the Chinese rural exterior. It's quite, it's quite a unique uh, mixture. It's quite a unique blend to have. I'd say it's quite rare to find such buildings in Hong Kong. So definitely quite interesting to see that in this mansion. What are these blocks? Well, and that was the first floor of his mansion. We've reached, so we've reached the other place. The place I'm a bit skeptical to enter. I mean, just look at it. As we, we just saw the first floor of the mansion, and now we're gonna see this building. The place I do not want to enter. It's just really weird, this feeling. Okay, so this is the staircase to the Second floor. We will we, we'll go up there later. Let's just see the bottom floor first. Okay, there's no way I can. Oh. Wow. Told you. Told you this would be hundred, ten times more creepier. What the? Just a red room. This is so random. Just a red curtain, red room.
Why? What is the point? A strange color to have. Why, why is there just a red room? And red curtains. Why? I'm actually curious to know. This is, this is, this is weird. It's just strange. You know, when I stood outside the mansion and I saw this, this building in particular just was really vile uh, for some reason. It was just really unpleasant to look at. It just gave a really strange feeling. And now when I enter one of that rooms and I see just a fully, just a red colored room, and it, it's just, it's just so random. I don't know, I just find that really strange. Okay, we'll go upstairs now. Hopefully it's not as frightening. As I said, in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. I mean, it's just an abandoned mansion at the end of the day. It's nothing, nothing that should be haunting. It's just, now that this house has been built for, as I said, nearly 100 years, you can just see the state of it today. And I believe, yeah, then, then it makes sense. So this is probably just an extension to that mansion. Still, it just gives me this really unpleasant feeling. Probably just because of the... It's just a strange choice to have a fully red-colored room. I, I don't know. Then let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, here we, we have a nice uh, toilet. If some of you are interested, this is how it looks inside. And yeah, the view is just the... Just the mansion. We've not... What is that? Is that... Is that... Okay, we, we need to go to the second floor of the mansion. I, I think... Okay, this is... From the other building, I saw this, just this brown thing. But look what is here. What? Is that just a, just a ceiling fan lying on the floor like that? I mean, imagine this was probably the fan that was used nearly 100 years ago. And now it's just lying here. Did they not bother removing this at least? The scary thing is that this fan did probably didn't even belong in this room. I mean, look at look at it. Where could they have possibly 
put it. Yeah, I guess we've seen seen enough of it. I mean, yeah, these cabinets are there. <sighs> Very strange. Let's admit this place is surprisingly terrifying for a mansion which is not even haunted but just abandoned. But what else can I say? Today it's just crumbling. A mansion so uniquely made, undoubtedly one of its kind in Hong Kong with its western interior and Chinese exterior. But I mean, I still can't get over an actual ceiling fan just lying there on the floor. Drawers and cabinets from that time are also just here. But goddamn, you're on a hundred year old mansion, on a nearly hundred year old mansion, in the middle of nowhere. It's exciting. Anyways. In the middle of nowhere. That reminds me, it's gonna be a pain to get out of this place. 